What's going on everyone, College Lefty, and in this video I have for you guys a game of ranked seasons, debuting the 85 overall Carlos Gomez. I also recently finished the first inning program and picked the Cy Young as my reward. So he is going to be the ace, I'm not quite sure if he's going to get selected, but let's go ahead and get right into it. We have AJ Burnett on the mound, Carlos Gomez is in the leadoff spot with Trevor Story right behind him, Pablo Sanchez with the power focused catcher. Giancarlo Stanton, Chris Bryant, Ronald Acuna, Matt Chapman, Jonathan Scope, and this opponent has a budget team. He's got Torrey Hunter, Ronald Acuna, some good gold cards, but he also has some good budget silver cards in there as well. But here to start the game off, we're getting a late base hit with Carlos Gomez, and 86 speed is going to be on base. That's why I really like that card. He has pretty good defense, good speed, and he has good power versus lefties. So very nice to, uh, guy to go up against is Jose Quintana for the debut video. There with Trevor Story, I sent one into right field, and I'm going to be taking the extra base. And then the very next batter was Pablo Sanchez. I don't know what happened with the at-bat or the pitch, but it somehow lagged, and I hit a sack fly to right field. I was able to score the run. I wanted to at least show the small clip that I had. But with Giancarlo Stanton, the very next batter, I squared that one up. I, the PCI wasn't all the way on it, but the barrel of the bat was, and I pulled that ball into left field, but it wasn't deep enough. But he was able to score the sack fly once again. It wasn't sent out for a homer, but I was looking to send that one into the gap or something. But Chris Bryant is adding to the late hit parade, and that's going to be sent to right field. This game this game was lagging a little bit, but it was pretty good connection for the most part. But I noticed that sometimes that's going to happen every now and then. When the game is lagging, you really have to swing early on fastballs. And that was Ronald Acuna, who lined out to center field there. Squared that one up pretty good, but his center fielder, his creative player, does make the play. Now we're facing Torrey Hunter, who is his right fielder. Get the strikeout there with the 12-6 breaking ball. Now we're facing Ronald Acuna. Go with the same pitch. Uh, knuckle curve, my fault. Knuckle curve low in the zone. And now with uh, Jonathan Scope up, I did the same exact thing and got three strikeouts in the first inning, all on the knuckle curve ball. The opponent was having a tough time laying off of it early in the game. But I noticed that, and I was going to try to take advantage of it. So Matt Chapman uh, sends one up the middle for a base knock to start off the next half of the inning there. Now Jonathan Scope is up to bat, facing a lefty. He excels versus hitting lefties, and I kind of jammed one out into right field. A late base hit once again. It's like my fourth or fifth base hit that I've sent the other way. Some of them have been later than others. Some of them I had more of the barrel of the bat up. There is almost another one, but that one was a fly ball with Carlos Gomez in his second at bat to uh, the first baseman. This wasn't able to get on it. He brought in Steve Ciszek, and uh, Trevor Story is sending one to right field there. That's gonna be a uh, single, and I'm taking the second base once again. He throws it all the way home, and I'm gonna be aggressive there and, and take the opportunity. Now I have Pablo Sanchez up at the plate, and I switched up his swing. I went with Stan Musial's swing. I found him in the uh, former players down in the Legends under last name Musial, so I went ahead and selected him. Someone was asking me how to how to select that guy as your swing. I thought about it, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it out. But it, was, uh, it wasn't working out all that much in this game. I, I noticed I was a little bit late, but it could have also been the, the slight latency that we had playing in this one. But there I was getting the strikeout with Joey Gallo. This AJ Burnett had been on fire to start this game off. Uh, got the gold bar of confidence, and then I kind of walked Matt Chapman there, and I lost it. So now we're back to having the little bar. And his, uh, his creative player sent one into the gap. That's going to be a double. Giancarlo Stanton's unable to make the play. And uh, that's not going to be a great start. I mean, he is going to be able to score a run. And that happens with two outs. That's what happens when you walk somebody with two outs. Always comes back to haunt you. And luckily, I was able to get out of the inning with a dot of a fastball on the outside corner there to Wilson Contreras. Now we have Chris Bryant up at the plate. I'm looking to get something started. And I ground that, I grounded out. Didn't sit on the slider long enough and hit it the other way. I noticed that... You're going to get a lot of base hits hitting the ball the other way. So sitting on pitches that are over the middle of the plate and kind of going the other way with them into the right center field gap is probably the best strategy with right-handed hitters. And uh, you're not always going to be able to sit back on them. But if you can and time up those breaking balls, then it forces the opponent to throw the fastball. And then that's when you can kind of turn and burn on it. This play was really strange. Uh, Carlos Gomez with gold fielding out there. He has like 86 fielding. And I didn't lock on the ball there. It was definitely because of uh, the gift like that blue marker where you get behind the ball and try to make the play but it was also 100% my fault as to why I missed that ball uh, then he takes advantage rips a base hit through the through the six hole there with Ronald Acuna and that brings up Jonathan Scope for him who sends one into deep right field that's going to be some trouble out there for Giancarlo Stanton a similar thing happened I didn't get behind the baseball and I stopped running right when I was in the ball icon and he was 
he didn't really turn around for it. Luckily, his runners are uh, messing up around third base. There, two guys around third base, Torrey Hunter and Ronald Acuna, and I was able to tag out one of the guys. And then later on in the inning, very next batter grounds out to the pitcher, and I throw the guy out at the plate. He was running on contact. That was that was an amazing play there from Pat Neshek. Really got a good animation and threw the ball really home pretty quickly. And then makes a circus grab to end the inning. He was he was doing it all. Pat Neshek out of the bullpen was doing it. Now we're facing uh, Steve Ciszek. So that's kind of a tongue twister to say. But Matt Chapman is sending another base hit. This is also Matt Chapman's debut. But I really wanted to highlight Carlos Gomez as uh, Jonathan Scope sends one out. I tried to steal second with Matt Chapman, 69 speed and one steal rating. I got a really good jump and he was still thrown out. So that kind of uh, should have been a two-run shot. But I did not. Uh, I did not take advantage but there Carlos Gomez is ripping one into the gap after Pat Neshek did get a base hit that's why he was on first there with seven speed I'm going first to third on that that was a barreled up regular X swing squared up on that slider and Trevor Story once again is sending one opposite field the same type of hit and he's an absolute beast there I thought he threw it to the first baseman so I wasn't going to try to take the extra base but now we have uh, Ronald Acuna up at the plate and I grounded one out he actually walked in a run right there and uh I just wasn't able to take advantage, but that's why it's 6-2. to two. I had a chance to break the game open, and I thought this one was also going to be sent out for the second home run of the game for Jonathan Scope, but he lined out to left field. Every single time I've hit the ball at that card, though, it's been hit hard. Even this opponent hit some foul ball home runs with them and hit the ball the other way hard, and that was when John Carlos Stan missed the ball out there. But uh, I noticed that he gets really high exit velocities, and he's just a really good card. He has a nice swing as well. Great arm at second base. But there, Matt Chapman was making a nice play from third base. Uh, Trevor Story's now pulling one, pulling a flare into left field. The guy's an absolute beast. I think that was his third or fourth hit of this game. And now you have the creative player up, Pablo Sanchez, the power hitting catcher. And I was late on that one, man. I just was, I was a little bit late. I swung almost as soon as the guy threw it. And I was still a little, I don't know. I just didn't go the other way with it, didn't barrel it up. I think my stride from, that Stan Musial stride was messing me up more than anything. But later on in the game, the opponent is hitting a no-doubt home run into the O of Franco Park with Wilson Contreras, making it a 6-4 game. Then he brought in Eric Gagne, and Chris Bryant responds with a no-doubt home run on the breaking ball up in the zone. I thought for a second his great player was about to jump up and catch that, but I also thought it was a no-doubter off the bat. I thought Chris Bryant kind of pimped it. Then later, Jonathan Scope, another base hit through the 6-hole. That's going to bring up the pitcher spot. And I'm going to go to Cody Bellinger off the bench as a pinch hitter. And on a 3-0 count, I'm swinging away. He throws a changeup right over the middle of the plate. It might have been a splitter, but they kind of break the same, that uh, Eric Gagne splitter and the Vulcan changeup. And he threw it right down the middle, and I barreled it up for a two-run shot. That's going to be a huge two runs later on in this game because we're only up by five. It, it is the eighth inning, and uh, this opponent was having some better at-bats as the game went on. There he sends one out with Paul DeYoung. I threw a bad cutter. I tried to throw it outside. He was kind of struggling with that AJ Ramos cutter uh, outside. And later, and then later on, he got some guys on base on a couple base hits. And then he did a hit and run right there with the bronze Jose Altuve. It just everything was going his way. Everything was paying off for him. But luckily, I was able to throw Jose Altuve out at second, trying to steal. I threw a slurve outside of the zone, and I was able to get him out. Pablo Sanchez gunned him down. Then I threw another slurve in the in the zone there on the outside corner. Got the strikeout. Later on in the uh, ninth inning, I walked a leadoff guy in, in Ronald Acuna. My bullpen was pretty tired at this point. So I, I had to go to Chris Sale. He's the, actually the last arm. I had to use everybody because I went to Pat Neshek so early in this game. And this opponent was seeing a lot of pitches. I mean, he got my pitch count way up there. He made it more challenging as the game went on for me to uh, locate pitches in the, in the zone, as well as I had some tired guys, so it was tough to control them anyway. But here with Chris Sale on a 2-0 count, I'm just trying to get a fastball in there. And I figured I would show the, the last couple at-bats here as it gets intense. I mean, one swing of the bat ties the game up. And he has Paul DeYoung, who already hit a home run in this one. And a 2-2 count, I missed with that slider. Luckily, it didn't hit him right there. But Joey Gallo is on deck. I don't want to face Joey Gallo. I'm trying to pick off Ronald Acuna because I did. I was able to pick uh, Joey Gallo off earlier in, in the game. So as soon as he took that step, he, sometimes the opponent would try to take two steps and try, try and steal. There he goes, taking off right there. I get the strikeout and almost the strike him out, throw him out. But then he brought in Steve Pierce for Joey Gallo for some reason. I don't know why he did that. Joey Gallo has more power. And uh, he sends one out. I, that was a hanging uh, slider, but he does hit it to... Carlos Gomez there, we move up 
into the uh, in the wild card division. And thank you guys so much for watching. That's going to do it for this video, guys. I'm College Lefty. And uh, take care. Have a great night. Peace out.